welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, we are here at the Frontier Village because we have one quest to deliver, but as I was coming in here, I saw a new quest had popped up, so there's only one thing we can do. <laughs> Go and grab it for ourselves and add it to the list. Hello? Tra -la 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 -la, dinner time! Shoo do da da, taste is sublime. Boo dee da da, like a rhyme. Boo dee do do all the time. Could you tell me more? Oh, have friends ever seen them? Singing vegetables and singing insects of Bionis. They say they are out there, somewhere. What would you do with them if you got them? Are you starting a choir or something? Oh, me, 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 me. That would be a wonderful idea. Now Tati has something to aim for. La di doo doo, la di la. Around Bionis are some special creatures and plants. The names are starting with words humming or rumble. Please carry them for Tati. Tati needs them for making songs. But Tati is needed in village, so cannot uh, go out to find them. Can friends do this for Tati? Uh, four things with humming in the name. And four things with rumble in the name. I'm sure it's gonna be different things because for that amount of experience, it's got to be a bit hard. Ta la 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 la, should you sing a song of joy? Will Tati get every desired item? Friend so nice, I could bite him! Not a problem, consider it done. I don't anticipate any problems. We can't afford to be careless, Mamelia. We need your strength too. Tra la la, eight times in all. Should we do? Go answer my call. Ah, there it is. Holy hell. <laughs> I have them all already. Oh, this is gonna be a big load of experience. Alright, even another page. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know? Wow, wait, wait, wait. Humming bits and rumble bits. Yeah, 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 yeah. New and wonderful melodies. <laughs> A flood of exciting sounds. Listen to that phrasing. New melodies for inspiration. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. That's right. You have done the same for us. <laughs> la la la. Lu, lu, lu. So very grateful to all of you. Great rewards for so little effort. That's the advantage of me looking around so much for collectibles and just picking up everything. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we have this. I'm still more powerful. <laughs> Instant level up. Beautiful. Alright, so we also have another quest, which is looking for Pippa. So let's change the time until... She is, of course, awake. So it should be somewhere during the day, I bet. Yes, alright. So we're in Tarnation. Will Peppa be? Ah, there. Oh, don't push me around. Yes. Wow, we, friends, got them. Enigma lotuses, happy rabbits, and love cranes as well. Peppa always wanted these things. Peppa's so happy and cute. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. That's why you're the hero of Colony 9. Well done. Sharla, please. It's not as if uh, I did it alone. We all work together. Peppa's so cute she could die and it would be the cutest nope on death ever. Okay, hopefully we didn't give her inspiration to kill herself so he can be the cutest nump on ever. It's nice experience though. Yes, alright. And another one done as well. Let's have a quick look through the area to see if there's any more quests. Because they do tend to pop up after you completed a few... See, that's what I mean. 
once you complete one or two, there's always another one to be found along the way. Which I do not mind, because the experience is good. I mean, really good. Oh, do friends know who the most amazing Nopon is? It's Nopon Sage, of course. He lives by the waterfall. If you ask Nopon Sage to grant you a witch... Ah, Pipiki almost reveals secret. Friends not want to meet Nopon Sage? Nopon Sage like to eat, so friends should bring him food of offering. Uh, juicy Laia Fish. From the uh, Erith Sea. Yeah, we, we just got to that area, so that's not too strange that we don't have it. Benign Crickets. Soft Sea com Cucumbers. I picked up uh, these in the mount lately, and apparently just enough for this quest. Alright, so as we are going to continue with the story in a bit, we should uh, keep our eyes out for some juicy fish. Ah, all grown up no pun say, no pun sage not exist. Pipiki want to meet Nopon Sage and prove everybody wrong. To meet Nopon Sage, friends must make offering. Pipiki make list of what uh, to bring. Bring these to Pipiki before friends forget. Not a problem, consider it done. <laughs> I don't anticipate any problems. We can't afford to be careless, Meliam. We need your strength too. Yes, yeah, so we already got a few parts uh, ready, that is great. Well, we're let's check the other floors as well. Ah, and there's another one too. Yeah, like I said, they keep on coming, but they will stop eventually. And until that time, we'll pick them all up and help them all out in any which way we can. Do we need to go higher? Oh, even one more lower. I think we're on the wrong side here, maybe. Ooh, me wanted to give flower bracelet to girlfriend, but it got eaten by Petrix. A Terex, I think, is how he pronounce it, right? Yeah. It probably have passed safely through cut of uh, Terex in one piece. Must go be lying somewhere near friends. Please search for it. Oh, it's the flower bracelet uh, we found like two or three episodes ago. Cool. Oh, of course me clean it up before I give it to girlfriend. Friends look disgusted. Or is that maybe me just imagine it? <laughs> Quest completed. Damn, we got so much experience today already. Father, I have become stronger. Hell yeah. Alright, beautiful, easy quests are the quests we like the most. <laughs> Least amount of effort, greatest reward. Any new quests pop up because of it? Maybe not yet, but I'm sure eventually they will. Alright, I think we can go to back to Arid Sea and continue on a little bit with the main story. Because basically we've completed all the side quests except the monster hunts. And as soon as we get into the main city and upgrade our equipment pieces with what we can buy there. Uh, we will try out those monsters too. And we should be more than uh, able to do so. Uh, let's uh, try these enemies while we're here. So it's not just the collectibles on the floor that are important. Because... Even the items that are dropped by enemies can be used for quest or for upgrading uh, colony six. And anything we already have, we don't have to uh, look for later on. Really rotten meat, and that's what we're gonna bring with us. Dumban is so strong. But we cannot be reckless. And the level, of course, is also helping a lot. Alright, we know that we wanted to go to the floating device up there that will take us to the capital. Is there any place here that we can have a little look see before we get on there? There's a few more collectible items. Because we are getting quite a bunch already. 
but we definitely haven't gotten all of them yet. Because uh, I've been uh, across the waterline a little bit to this island over here. And that's about it, just looking at things. But there is so much water that I'm almost hoping that uh, the flotation device will take us to the capital. That maybe we get a boat of ourselves that we can just use to sail over the water. Just to make it a little bit better to uh, get over it. Because if we need to swim everywhere, it's going to take forever. I mean, I literally mean... Not literally forever, because that would be too long, but a significant amount of time of swimming. Ooh, I don't think this is a rotation device, I think this is just a teleporter. It is. It's even better than a hovering device. <laughs> a great A technology like uh, Colony 6 and 9 has never even seen before. Well, maybe Dixon, because he's been to a lot of places already. So where does this one take us then? Ooh, maybe these will all take us to other islands. Ah, and that's what the yellow lines uh, are for. Ah, okay. Okay, so I think that is uh, something we really need to use for exploration later. I think for now we should try to uh, head for the capital, right? Yeah. So we need the one that goes up and not to one of the other islands. Hovering Reef 2. Um, maybe I should just put on this one so I know if I'm going into the right direction or not. Because, <laughs> like I said, this place is really big. So, also very easy to get lost in. Which, if you're exploring, isn't necessarily a bad thing because you want to be going to as many places as you can. And just getting lost a little bit every once in a while isn't bad in that regard because that way you get more collectibles more different enemies you get to fight not much of a bad thing isn't it and i have to take good care of this bird it's just level 36 so it should be well within our range bit reckless. Being reckless is not a bad thing if you know you can handle it. But if you know you can handle it, is it still considered reckless? No mean Hode. That is also one thing I've been wondering about, like, because we see different types of enemies, well, of the same kind of enemy, but a higher variant of it. Do they drop the same items or better ones? We just aren't uh, friendly enough uh, just yet. Well, I'm working on it. Pink asparagus. I don't think uh, changing it to a different color will uh, make it more appetizing. At least not for me. The center gate. There are no collectibles on the uh, tech parts, is there? Who are these guys? 
are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> I think she's the princess Lydia, of this country. Are you? Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Yes, because we're honor bound. <laughs> and Rosebud's thinking, Melia, what are you wearing? Such scandalous dresses. Where is your royal attire? Lady Melia, he says. Shulk, you're thinking the same as me. Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> More of these guys. Are they taking us prisoner? That's not what Melia asked them. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know that. I must report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. All alone. You feel... say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness, Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. So, political strife. Her own people were the ones that tried to kill her. I didn't expect uh, Shulk and the other to help her. Ooh, intriguing. Okay, do we want to pick a quest? I must report the news of the Telethia subjugation to His Majesty. I should hurry to the audience chamber. Okay, so there are quests, but we are limited to our actions at the moment. So I'm pretty sure we get to walk around uh, in a later bit, but... So... Who were those? At least um, in this sense, because they're clearly after the throne, after the ruling. And they probably didn't want her to survive in order to make that path a little bit easier, and they failed. So, I guess we gotta be careful now. <laughs> Even though that Melia doesn't actually know this is going on, apparently. Hmm. Very intriguing. Me. Lady Melia, you're safe. I'm relieved to see that you're doing well. Me. Welcome back, Lady Melia. The Emperor is eagerly awaiting you in the audience chamber. So please, don't waste your time talking to me. 
please hear it to the Emperor. I wonder if the Emperor knows about this with uh, a coup in the making. Are you that? Welcome home, Lady Melia. I realize you must be tired from your journey. However, please make sure to report to the Emperor right away. So many people. Hey. Welcome home, Lady Melia. I am overjoyed to see that you are safe and sound. Yes? Lady Melia, you have returned. I hope that your last expedition went well. After you report to the Emperor, please take time to relax. I uh, don't think we have time for that, cause... There are things moving in the background that could be very disastrous uh, to us. Are you that? The Imperial family treats each of the guards as individuals. Do you have any idea how happy that makes us feel? No, I actually don't, cause... You're guards, you need to do your job. Yes. And as a group you can do that better, right? <laughs> my lady, you are safe. When I first heard the news, I thought my heart would shatter. So did they already report her as dead? Defeated? Oh, then uh, she'll definitely uh, mess it up for them. Well, I will go directly towards the story bits, because I'm pretty sure we'll be stopped if we go anywhere else. And things like quest and the real uh, investigation of the entire capital. I'd rather do that when we have a full party. That way uh, any uh, affinity will just be gained between our party members instead of uh, not getting any at all. Melia Antiqua, first princess, has returned, your majesty. Raise your head. Your Majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them. But it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty. Concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend, passed down through the generations, of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a Chosen One. However, if the Chosen One is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the Chosen One. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. Let me guess, the seer is that biased one. Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. 
His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. But what about what I she am wants? To be crown princess. Yes, you are. The ministries of research and records are united in support of His Majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our Divine Emperor. But the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes. But a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the Divine Seer were to intervene... The Seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. Yeah, this is the person we saw, isn't it? From behind the uh, downward at the legs. Trying to conspire against her, pretending to be her friend, her counsel. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. I don't believe so. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. And if you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. Even we are alone. I doubt we can get out of this room, is it? Yes. We have never had any contact with the High Entia before. Perhaps they are being cautious, just as we would. Oh, <laughs> you. Uh, I wish they were cautious, but they're thinking the worst of uh, Shulk right now, just to be safe. Yes. Ah, Shulk, you have not uh, to worry. Bird people not bad. Yes? The ones who came to meet Melia were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? What's up? What is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick. Are you sure we can really trust her, right? You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Ah. Oh. Alvis. <laughs> How what curious. Are you doing here? The plot thickens. I see. 
So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah. Oh. Leave everything to me. And now we'll see where his alliance I lay. That you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of her highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. His voice still sounds so familiar, I just don't know from what. Especially when he's talking so calmly. The life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. <laughs> Ricky, wait. Your eminence. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Shulk and Ricky go help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. <laughs> that we do. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Hereupon Ricky is here to save the day. It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Yes, and this will uh, increase our reputation of being a good guy amongst the city, I'm sure of it. And of course, we saw the arc quests here as well. Uh, save the worker. Alright, that's gonna be the important quest we need to do. But before we do that, we're gonna walk around the capital, have a look around, pick up some additional quests that we can find here, just to increase our affinity with the place. And like I said, our reputation, cause uh, there are some that probably still think that we are the dark ones with uh, a very very bad intention to the High Antia and that we might kill them with the Monado. So show them us we're good guys, then that to really improve things. And of course show them that uh, Melia's judgment is a sound one. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Ooh. Is that red or blue? <laughs> I don't mind uh, picking up some quest items beforehand. A silver ring. Because if we have the items as we pick up the quest, we can be done really quickly. Are you that? There is a really mysterious place to the southeast of the Aris Sea. You have to swim to get there. No one in the Imperial Guard has ever been there before. Intriguing. Well, if there isn't a hover device that lets me sail over the Aris Sea. I'm pretty sure I will eventually uh, swim there myself. Okay, so we have three quests there, one quest there. I think I will go for this one first. Where is it? Oh, probably upstairs on the stairs. Welcome. 
I don't know what I can do to stop him from overdoing it. If he carries on like this, he'll injure a lot more than his back. I might have to do something drastic to stop him. Ooh, future quest uh, givers. I can see. Yes. This is an official request from the minister. We need you to clear out the beast on the Saltnar Seal Island. This entire mission is classified, so please don't go around talking to people about it. Alright. Thank you for taking the mission. We're extremely grateful. Yes? This is an official request from the minister. We need you to clear out the beast on Saltnar uh, Seal Island. This entire mission is classified. So please don't go around talking to people about it. Thank you very much. If you had refused, you would have been in trouble. Yes? We have another official request straight from the minister. Apparently there are some beasts of a different color in the area. Would it be all possible for you to take care of them too? The targets we'd like you to deal with are Otol Kromars. They're on Soldar Seal Island. Lots of enemies on that island. Ah, I'm so glad I asked you. Please, take care out there. Right, the whole bunch of beast cleanup quests. We always like those. Relatively easy, lots of rewards, so yes. And the one thing I do want to find here is a store yes. somewhere. By the Bayonis. He may be an Imperial Guard, but he got to stop sometime. Ah, my apologies. It's not that I don't understand the critical situation we're in. I just wish he'd spare a thought for the state of his back. Alright, so is there a store? Ooh, there is. So let's... Make it quick! <laughs> Yes. A little while ago, my family went to a hovering reef at night. They saw lots of monsters there. It'll take us ages to arrange the paperwork to sort them out. This is a bit cheeky, but you guys couldn't just go and, you know, sort them out? Well, I'm definitely willing to try. Ah, thank you very much. On behalf of all the Imperial Guard, I'm really glad I asked you. Yes? Just received a report from an Imperial Guard officer. Monsters have been spotted in the entirely different location. The location detailed in the report uh, was Hovering Reef 7. I hate to ask again, but could you possibly help out? We can? I really didn't have anyone else I could rely on. You're a real lifesaver helping us out like this. Yes? Give me more. I just received another new report. Monster population had been increasing wildly recently. I feel stupid for asking, but... Could you help with subjugation? Ooh, that must be a specialty one. I feel really relieved that you're helping us out. The location we're having troubles with is in the middle of the Arid Sea. It is Sleeping Dragon Isle, so please, take care. Yeah, no worries. We know how to deal with monster requests. Beat them to crap and deliver them to the right person if needed. Are you that? Let me guess. Yes, Melia's Intermediate Books. I wonder when we're gonna get like the advanced ones. Alright, so there's plenty for us to uh, go over here. Looks like uh, weapons and stuff is not the most profound. Yeah, light is of course for ma for magic, medium for DPS, and heavy is of course for our defenders. I'm sure there has to be at least few uh, equipment pieces that uh, can be better. All right, sky top. I thought I saw that sky cap for Ricky. Two. All right. <laughs> Gravity stone bands. I, I still wonder if, if we see the item in the store, will we also have to look in our menu or not, or if we actually need to own it. All right. 
I guess we want to make Ricky into a sky uh, being. So we need three more. Alright, and the rest of the money can be spent on advanced techniques. Always a good thing. Beautiful. Thank you, and please come again. Alright, let's uh, see if we can focus on picking up the quests. Ooh, there are pretty far down the south there. Me. Oh, when you first came here, were you amazed at our technology? It must have all seemed so advanced to you. It actually really did. It does make for a really beautiful place, doesn't it? Alright, I'm gonna make my way over to the quest so we at least have them. So if there are monster quest or collection quest, uh, we can possibly do them between the episodes. And be ready to deliver them on, them on the next one. Ooh, that is what I want. That would definitely make traveling the sea a lot easier. Uh, well, this is a problem. There is no research for anyone at this rate. Hmm, I say, you kids. If you're free at the moment, could you give me a hand? Sounds like you've got a problem. First, listen to what I have to say. Our ancient ruined research team has unearthed some ancient texts. Your research in ancient ruins? Before we set out on this journey, I was doing research too. So I think I really know how you feel. Really? So you're a scientist, huh? <laughs> Forgive me, but you really do, don't look like one. We have been traveling for a long time, and it's been tough too. Maybe I'm getting too buffed up? <laughs> no, 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 never mind that. Please, tell us more about your research. Regrettably, the text age means that we can't decipher them easily. It would take years and years, and that's not just good enough. That's why we decided to build some kind of deciphering machine. I'm sure you can see where the, all this is headed, right? So can you help us gather the necessary materials? Uh, six pieces of sturdy armor. What? You will help us. Oh, that's very kind of you. In which case, I'll await you here and double check the blueprints. I am counting on you kids. No problem, leave it to me. Ha, nothing can stand in the way when me and Shulk are on the case. Just take it easy and sit tight. Let's give it all we got, Rain. Yeah, and it is of course a pickup quest. It's really nice. Yes. Ah, oh, Alchemist air defenses are flying around the clock, right? We are fast running out of spare parts. I hate to be a pain, but could you get some spiral lamps for them? Uh, in the high end there too. I don't think I've been there yet, but it's better to have a quest for an area we haven't been to yet than have been to an area and haven't picked up in the meanwhile. Oh, I'm really sorry. We have to continue with the maintenance work even at night. If not then, accidents happen. Alright, good. So we got a few collectible quests, a few monster exterminations. So it is a really good start. And of course, I'm pretty sure the area is pretty big in itself. Don't see any quest here at the moment. Ooh, I see a whole bunch here. You know what, I'm gonna leave all these quests to pick up on the next episode. I think the ones we have, if we are allowed uh, to go outside of the area, we can start working on those in between episodes. Next time we will pick these ones up and see what we can do with them because uh, we know what we need to do to progress the main story which is basically go out there help the workers increase their reputation but having done all these quests first will always be better for one experience for more levels the money resources and of course the little nice little story bits we get from the quest so that's where we're going to be focusing on in the next episode so until then i wish you all a great night morning day wherever you are and if you're still here don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and make sure to be back next time as we quest around in rsc bye bye